Tunisian full stitch. This is a slightly different stitch from some of the other Tunisian stitches as it's worked between vertical bars but it makes a very nice thick cushy fabric. It feels a bit thicker than most of the other Tunisian stitches. So I just take this sample out of the way and bring over my hook to demonstrate. It starts with a normal foundation row so I've done 10 chain and then I've worked the forward pass and reverse pass of the foundation row. So I can now work the first full stitch row. As I said it works between the vertical bars rather than into the vertical bars. So the very first on the first row the first stitch is going to go between the end stitch and the next one in and pull a loop through. In effect this stitch, this very first stitch that I've worked is the equivalent of one of the methods of increasing by working a stitch under the horizontal bar into the first space. But we're working under the horizontal bar between stitches all the way across the row. So I've worked across to the last vertical bar and if I count my stitches I've got two, four, six, eight, nine stitches. As I said at the beginning, effectively this stitch is an increase. If I now work into this gap between the vertical bar and the end of the row, I would have increased a stitch. So on this row I'm going to miss that gap and I'm now just going to work my normal end of row under the end chain. So I now work a normal reverse pass which is yarn over and through, pull through one and then yarn over and pull through two back to the beginning of the row. and then back to the beginning and pull through there. So I've worked one row. On this next row I don't want to keep on working into the end space because I would then end up with a piece of crochet that would have more of a bias than normal. So this time I'm going to miss these end space and I'm going to go into the next space along and again I'm working under the horizontal bar between the spaces, the space between the vertical bars. And this time when I get to the last vertical bar I want to go into the space between the last vertical bar and the edge and then work my chain. In fact I need to do that again because I just split the thread slightly. So I'm going to get under the two legs of the chain there, pull a loop through and now reverse, work a normal reverse pass. So again working two off at a time as we're working across. So full stitch is a two row repeat. A lot of the Tunisian stitches are the same thing every row but for this one we're going to have alternate rows where in one row we increase in this first space 
but do not work into the end space and then in the next row we miss the first space and work into the end. So if I then go back and do the row one again, so we're going to go into the space between the edge chain and the first vertical bar and pull up a loop as we're going and again as you're working be careful that you go into the big space and not into a stitch as if you were doing a Tunisian knit stitch. So you want to be going into the big space between two vertical bars. And if you need to pull your knitting around a little bit to make sure that you're getting into the right space, So I've got down to the end of the row and this time because I started with a stitch in the first space I'm going to miss this last space and just go under the two chains at the end and then work a normal return pass. Just coming up to the end again. So that's three rows and you can see the fabric is quite thick and it's also curling quite easily. The more you do the less it will curl but you always do have this problem with most Tunisian stitches where the fabric does want to curl. So I need to now do the second row of the pattern this time we're missing this end space and going into the next one along. So that's into the second space. And pulling up a stitch, making sure you don't catch any of the back bars. And you are going into the center of the space. This time because I missed the space at the beginning I am going to go into the space at the end between the last vertical bar and the edge stitch and then work my edge stitch as normal. And then the return pass is the same as the normal return pass for most stitches. So as we come down, so it makes a nice little big stitch type pattern which is very useful if you want a, a warm thick fabric. So that's the full stitch.